Action. Yes. Okay, here comes Chris. Chris is coming back down. So here we have the section of the one roof, non-overlap, resting on the front of the truck. We're going to take the ladder now, position it towards the rear here. Right about there, okay? Where it's almost in the middle to climb up, okay? So then you take both of you guys, myself and Chris on this side, and we're gonna lift it up, slide it forward so that one of us can climb up the ladder where the other one holds the panel up for him, okay? Okay, so I'm going to hold it right here while Chris goes up the ladder. And then sometimes you can set it right there if he wants. If he gets tired, set it on top of the ladder. So once you get it to this point, if you can help him, make sure you watch in the front as you pull this back. Because it could slide off and then you guys are going to get hit in the head. And it might hurt. Okay? So once you got it like that, yeah. <clears throat> you might go, oh crap, it's kind of crooked. Might have to grab the ladder, move it over here, push it over. The best part would be to put it here in the middle. Yeah. You're going to put it in the middle right here. You're going to push it over. So as long as you keep that, so you have the back, you can let it drop onto the back. There you go. Now he's going to push it over level. Huh? Oh, yeah. So I hold the ladder for him so he can push. Looks good, looks good. Okay, as you notice, the back is sitting on the sheet metal, not on the pipe. So once you got it positioned like this, you're at a good point right now. Chris can come to the back and basically lift in the center. He's just going to take that bar, can you get that bar, Kevin? Take the front bar, he's going to set it right on top, of course, of the 42 tab on top. Once he does that, he can finagle and maneuver the, pool, the front and the back. Come over my way a little bit. There. That looks good. So basically what you want when you look at the sides of this, it could be over a little, like an inch, or it could be over, it depends where you put the roof at. You want it probably over a little bit more, so it's kind of centered for the shelter. So if you do put wood on this, you're not getting rain, like let's say coming in the backside right there. That's for right now, it looks good. So I need four more clamps. Chris is going to put start on the clamps and put a clamp on the side right here. Give him the clamp. One. Who's got the ratchet? Kevin's pocket. Okay. Okay, there you go. Chris is going to put, of course, the bolt through one of the clamps, which makes it easier for you guys when you go to do this. Put it from the back side. You're going to lift the uh, roof panel up a little bit so of course the bolt slides through. So when you do this, you, either, you want to put it in one of the channels right here. You're going to put that right here. Right there from the set. Okay, so if you try to do it over here, you're going to hit probably the sheet metal. Why? Oh, you're going to hit probably the sheet metal. So you're going to lift up a little bit and put it just like that. And then you can put the clamp the other side on right here. And then we're going to put the nut on, like so. Okay? And we're going to ratchet it down. Not too, not too tight just yet. Because I might have to adjust it. Because we might not be square all the way this way. Put the other one on for me. Please, sir. Back side. Play it, please. Perfect, perfect. Slide down. Get down and come. <laughs> okay. Move the ladder for Chris. 
So when building a 42 tab cover corral, it does, the customer has to of course pay for the wood and they usually do it themselves. This structure is all we provide here at Lee's Feet. Okay? So anything other than that, the customer can ask one of you guys to do it for them, maybe on your day off, put it in, which is fairly simple once you get the plywood cut, these pieces, you put, this, put the plywood in it, stand on the outside, and you just drill right through there, and then put the bolt, ratchet it down, which I actually use my drill, this is a lot faster, but, so the plywood, like I said, if anybody does this on the side, you guys will know. Okay, I need to cover corral set up or move. Now you guys would be able to go, okay, basically what it is, what we did, we just show you how to build it, you just do it in reverse to take it apart. I want to move from here over to the other side of my property. Can you do that for me, Kevin? Yes. Okay, and you just tell the customer, yes, so I could do it all on my day off. 100 bucks. Whatever, yeah, whatever you provide, whatever you guys want, okay? Yeah. If it's by yourself, I'd go more. Okay? If you bring somebody else, throw an extra 50 bucks in, let's say. Okay, so it'd be 150. Okay? So Chris has the back two clamps on. You get those up it. Okay, back two clamps. Now we're going to put the front two clamps on. Front two clamps. Any questions? No questions? Huh? Explaining very well. Okay. You think? Okay. So, here's the structure. Like I said, you can also make the roof flat by doing what, Ty? Uh, having level front and back. Which would what size would that be? That'd be like eight and eight, eight and eight feet. That's right. Cause you can't put a seven on this, could I? No. Why? Because doesn't this not come in I mean, not this, but like. One of the pieces doesn't come in seven feet, that's right. If I would try to put a seven foot truss on this, would it work? No, because would it be crap? I, I remember it can't work, I can't remember why. Why wouldn't it work? Okay, if I put a seven foot truss, and these are eight foot? Oh, it's going to be too low. Yeah. It'll be seven yeah. foot right here. Yeah. So how could I put a roof on? Good. Oh, yeah. I yeah. could. So Chris is installing the front two clamps, as you, you see, shift it over a looking very bit. professional. What's that? We're going to have to shift it back a little bit. Back? Yeah, those back ones are too tight. They're too tight? It's going back. Here. So see, Chris is having a problem with the, the line up right here, okay, which means, which means it's not square. It's kind of cocked, right? Cockeyed. So you're going to help him by just kind of doing that. Which lines this up here in the front. So once you do that, it's okay to have a little slight angle slope on the front or on the back, vice versa. If you can get them perfectly lined up, that's good. But sometimes you can't get them perfectly straight. So you have one of the, the front or the back and slightly overhang one of the pipes. Looks good, looks good. Okay. Just move the ladder, put the last clamp on that side of the roof. How many uh, nuts and bolts do I need, Tyler? Uh, for the roof or overall? Out of overall. 16. Correct. Evan, do the side, I'm sorry, Garrett, do the sides <laughs> have to be level? They're Wyatt. Oh, fuck no. 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 <laughs> okay. The hat backwards got me. Okay. So, can you add on to this? Yes. What could I build? Longer corral. Uh, Longer corral. What if I wanted three of these put together to make a, you know, three covered shelters? All three of those? Yeah, all, like or in one. all together. All together? Three in one. But the whole, like, the whole back and the sides 
question close. What would I need? Calculate it out in your head and tell me what you need. If I want three of these shelters, it all put together. How many uh, two more trusts yeah, and everything. three more uh, 42 tabs. So what was that? Two more. Two more trusses. And three more 42 tabs to cover the back and the side. Three. Correct. <laughs> okay, but yes. what else do I need? Uh, 32 clamps. 32 clamps and then four more roof. Yeah, four more roof panels. Okay, but what about this? This is closed off. Do I need that? No, so it's one, two, and then three to the side. Okay, but that's not structurally sound. When I say that, structurally sound means spot. it cannot uh, be open here. Uh, okay. You understand? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four trusses. You would need how many? Four, four, trusses. four trusses? No. Just, just two more. Well, so this I'm all together. You'd be a truck. You need, you need two, two trusses. Recommendation, seven foot to have this all open, okay? If you don't want it open, what would I put in here? A truss? If I don't want it open. So, uh, what do I want here? Four rail. Okay. Four rail. And how many of those would I need? Two. Two, correct. Okay, Paul, are you listening? You understand? Oh, if I, I wanted this all separate, but roof all the way and the back enclosed, how many more four rail 12 footers do I need here? The four rail, wait, which one? Two. I want him to know because he wasn't listening. I can tell he wasn't listening because he was off in La La Land. Two. Two. <laughs> okay, and that, what that means is that way you'll be structurally sound. If I had two four rails here and the last pin there, they'd be, they'd be all separate corrals, but they'd all be enclosed unless I wanted it one big open thing with three open front trusses, right? Which then, what would I use in here, Kevin? What would I use in here to have this all open by <coughs> three of these? Pro what? Wait, if you had three 42 tabs? No, if I had a, oh, if I had I would three use of the, these shelters. The four rail deals. No, if I had three of these shelters, I want the sides and the back closed off, but I wanted to be able to walk from corral to corral to corral. What would I put in here? Mm. You do not understand what I'm asking. Right. If I wanted, if I wanted this open, I don't want this here, right? Because this would be wood. Yeah. If I wanted these open, but they had to be structurally sound and built correctly, what would I put here? Probably a truss. A truss. Okay. Yes. What size? Yeah, it's like the truss. Would you recommend seven feet? Yeah, seven's fine. Okay. As long as you have something in here, you could do eight foot, but seven foot would be perfect. Because you have to have the front and the back has to all connect. If I, did, if I didn't have these panels in here, what would happen? Fall apart? No, eventually the roofs would probably sag. Or if I just went like back here and went like this and kick this, it would just kick it out. Yeah. So your, your whole back of your wall would be like at an angle now. Okay? So back to the other roof. We're gonna. We already got the one roof on. We're gonna grab the other section of roof. You notice you have the overlap here on this side, okay? Which is the right side, of course, where you see the non-overlap. And what that piece of sheet metal does right here <laughs> is it overlaps that piece, Kevin up there, overlaps this piece of sheet metal. So that, of course, there's no water coming down through the seam. Then you recommend to the customer after you built this, I would drill a couple self-tappers with rubber bushings on them, like four or six right down the middle, 
right through this sheet, piece of sheet metal right here. Okay? So four, five, six sheet metal self-tappers down there. It'll hold that piece to that piece and also we like attach the roofs together. So now it's one big 12 by 12 instead of two split six by sixes. Okay? So we're gonna set up your ladder. Is that where you want it? We'll see what Chris said. He wants to, he doesn't want to move the ladder because why would he why would why would he not want to move the ladder? He'd be in his way. And of course, be in his <laughs> way. Okay, Mary, grab that side. Chris grab the back side. Here it's nice and tall, we like it. Okay. Chris goes in first. As you see, when they go inside the shelter, their limit of room on top is closed off. Which means what? Call it. The question was they have limited room on top. They have limited room up here now, right? Because yeah. this is now wider. Yeah. So what are you going to do to get that up there? Yeah, take this side. <laughs> you hear that, Kevin? Now we're gonna have to angle this this piece of roof to go up and kick back out. Okay? Yep. You're gonna help. That's I would try to top. kick it kick it over first. If you have a use of a, the truck, like I was telling the guys, I'm gonna back the truck up as far as you can to this corral, which will be able to help you with the ladder and the. Um, Chris has to kick over the back side over here. Here it turns towards me. Okay. Are you going to go up higher? Once you, got it, once you got it like that, you're just going to slide it. Slide it out as far as you can. Okay, now you see it's overhanging, Chris is going to bring over the ladder. Once Chris gets the ladder set up, he's going to pull it back slowly and drag it. Once he does that, he'll have both sides hopefully on the front and the back. After that, he's going to lift one side up onto, the, he's going to take the overlap and go over the other one. Okay. You gotta go forward more. Huh? It has to go forward more. Here, walk that way. You gotta walk that way with it. Gotta push it a little bit more. Okay, get to it. So what Chris is doing, he's pushing it forward enough so he can get the back of the overlap above the other one. This is like what I said, if you had the truck, I would put the actual roofs on the truck and then you just lift them up over the front and then you get the ladder and you just kind of slide them back okay should be able just to go like this so chris is moving the ladder over so he can basically push push the roof over and then get it above everything and then slide it back. So if you lift up, you should be able to kick this off over that side. There you go. Now Chris has it up there. So now he's going to just pull it back and in the position. And once he does that, then you'll have to go on one side and lift, lift the sheet metal piece, the tab, over the other one. Okay. Now he's putting the okay, so he's putting the tab over right now. So once he has this side, once he has this side, he's gonna go to the front. See right here, Kevin, come over here. See right here, see the tab is not over the actual <coughs> other side yet right so Chris has to come over here 
and move this side over. Once he does that, then you can line up the fronts together, which is, of course, the back should by, by then be square. gonna get rid of that little edge right there he's gonna lift it right over watch carefully okay see it now it's good so see you just gotta go back a little bit this way to the right so that right. piece of sheet metal sits fairly flat that looks pretty good and he wants to push it back a little bit see the edges you want the right a little bit more that's like equal with this okay one here. so see what he showed you right there he wants the front pipes even equal like even so the roof, no matter if it's a little bit longer than the other side, it's okay. This is long as the bar is even with the other bar. Okay, so clamps. Tyler, Tyler's gonna get the clamps and put the other four clamps on. Just kidding, like I care. <laughs> okay, Chris is putting the one clamp on. So Colin, I'm a customer and I go, hey, what do you have for horses that I can yes. use for shelter? What was that? You have I'm a customer. Yes. Yes, what do you have that could I that I could purchase from you guys that's uh, shelter for horses? These corrals we got here, you put them together with. Normally, if you do a one shelter, you just do the three or the two. Half, oh my God, the one on the side pulled again. The one with the tabs. Forty-two tabs and then two trusses and then you just put the overlapping roof panels. Oh well, I don't want the sides. I just want like a regular covering for my horse. You can't do that with like, all over. But you just have two sides. Kevin, Kevin. You can Hold use trusses. Do this. Right. So you guys know. Okay. When I say I don't want a side, you say, well, well I'll recommend you my standard covered corral. Okay. Which is right over there. So I want I want to be able to walk through it though. Can I do that? Yeah. What do I need to do that? Trusses. <laughs> what what size? Um, the 12 foot. Uh, oh, they're 12 foot high. Yes. Oh, they're 12 foot high. Nine foot high. Oh, they're nine foot high too. Yeah, no, they're nine by 12. Oh, they're nine foot high by 12 foot long. Yes. Oh. So, but I don't want it that high, Colin. You can also get eight foot. Oh, okay. So I can do an eight foot truss in the front and an eight foot truss in the back? Or a seven foot truss if you would like. Wait. Oh, is that what you recommend? No. <laughs> seven foot truss in the back. Hey, let him run on his own. <laughs> Come on. Seven foot truss in the back and then an eight foot in the front. Oh, okay. And what do I put on the sides of this? The 42 tab panel. That customer's going to Clifton Ward. Yeah, I'm leaving now. <laughs> I'm leaving. Okay, don't want that. A standard corral. Okay, think. That's a standard corral right there. Okay, standard corral. I don't need 42s on the side. Oh, the four rail. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how many of those do I need, Colin? Two. So, with this Shut all up, set up, how many clamps do I need? 16. Oh. And nuts and bolts? Yes. <laughs> okay, so 16 nuts and bolts, 16 clamps. How many roof sections is that? And do I just put it on top and put it together? You have to make sure they overlap and it's level. 
So I need two overlaps. Yeah. No, you need one non-overlap and one overlap. One non-overlap, <laughs> the other one overlaps, correct. Yes. And you guys deliver? Yes. No? No. <laughs> you guys set this thing up? Yes. Well, you do. Okay. So I'm going to buy all this and you guys are going to bring it out and set it up. Just dump it off. Can you bring some plywood too? No. Thank you. Okay. We also accept tips. So back to, we also accept tips. Back to the corral. Chris has finished it. So this is what you guys build when you go to the customer's house. You don't go further than this. You don't. You can recommend the plywood. You can recommend to stain it. You can recommend painting it. You can paint it white. Let's see if their house is white. They want to put it white. A little black trim on it. Whatever. Okay? Blue. Blue, whatever. Okay, so what you want is this how it's set up. So if you were to have, like I said, this not level, that roof would not be on there right now. This is just by chance that it's offset a little bit because this right here, this ground, is not level, of course. It all drains that way. Okay? For what level we have here, it worked. You have your standard. 42 tab covered corral or enclosed corral or whatever you want to call it that you can recommend to a customer.